In probability theory, the theory of large deviations concerns the asymptotic behavior of remote tails of sequences of probability distributions. While some basic ideas of the theory can be traced to Laplace, the formalization started with insurance mathematics, namely Ruin theory with Cramer and Lundbury. A unified formalization of large deviation theory was developed in 1966, in a paper by Viradhan. Large deviations theory formalizes the heuristic ideas of concentration of measures and widely generalizes the notion of convergence of probability measures. Roughly speaking, large deviations theory concerns itself with the exponential decline of the probability measures of certain kinds of extreme or tail events. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Introductory examples. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> An elementary example. Consider a sequence of independent tosses of a fair coin. The possible outcomes could be heads or tails. Let us denote the possible outcome of the ITH trial by x i display style x underscore i, where we encode head as one and tail as zero. Now let m n Display style m underscore n denote the mean value after n display style n trials, namely m n equals one n i equals one n x i Display style m underscore n equals frac one n sum underscore i equals one carrot n x underscore i. Then m n display style m underscore n lies between zero and one. From the law of large numbers, and also from our experience, we know that as n grows, the distribution of m n display style m underscore n converges to 0 0.5 equals e x display style 0 5 equals operator name e x the expectation value of a single coin toss almost surely moreover by the central limit theorem we know that M n display style m underscore n is approximately normally distributed for large n display style n. The central limit theorem can provide more detailed information about the behavior of m n display style m underscore n than the law of large numbers. For example, we can approximately find a tail probability of m n display style m underscore n p m n greater than x display style p m underscore n greater than x that m n Display style m underscore n is greater than x. Display style x for a fixed value of n. Display style n. However, the approximation by the CLT may not be accurate if x display style x is far from e x i display style operator name e x underscore i unless n display style n is sufficiently large. Also, it does not provide information about the convergence of the tail probabilities as n infinity display style n to inf t. However, the large deviation theory can provide answers for such problems. 
Let us make this statement more precise. For a given value 0.5 x1, display style 0.5, let us compute the tail probability p m n greater than x, display style p m underscore n greater than x. Define i x equals x lain x plus 1 minus x lain 1 minus x plus lain 2. Display style i x equals x lain x plus 1 x lain 1 x plus lain 2. Note that the function i x display style i x is a convex, non-negative function that is zero at x equals one half and increases as you move to x equals one. It is the negative of the Bernoulli entropy with p equals one half. That it's appropriate for coin tosses follows from the asymptotic equipartition property applied to a Bernoulli trial. Then, by Chernoff's inequality, it can be shown that p m n greater than x e x p minus n i x display style p m underscore n greater than x. This bound is rather sharp in the sense that i x display style i x cannot be replaced with a larger number which would yield a strict inequality for all positive n display style n however the exponential bound can still be reduced by a subexponential factor on the order of 1 n display style 1 sqrt n this follows from the sterling approximation applied to the binomial coefficient appearing in the bernoulli distribution hence we obtain the following result p m n greater than x approximately equals e x p minus n i x display style p m underscore n greater than x approximately e x p ni x the probability p m n greater than x display style p m underscore n greater than x decays exponentially as n display style n grows to infinity at a rate depending on x this formula approximates any tail probability of the sample mean of i, i, d, variables and gives its convergence as the number of samples increases. <laughs> Large deviations for sums of independent random variables In the above example of coin tossing we explicitly assumed that each toss is an independent trial, and the probability of getting head or tail is always the same. Let x x 1 x 2 display style x x underscore 1 x underscore 2 be independent and identically distributed i i d random variables whose common distribution satisfies a certain growth condition then the following limit exists lim n infinity 1 n lane p m n greater than x equals minus i x display style lim underscore n 2 inf t frac 1 n lane p m underscore n greater than x equals i x here m n equals 1 n i equals 1 n x i display style m underscore n equals frac 1 n sum underscore i equals 1 caret n x underscore i as before function i display style i c d o t is called the rate function or Cramer function, or sometimes the entropy function. The above mentioned limit means that for large n display style n p m n greater than x approximately equals e x p minus n 
I X display style P M underscore N greater than X approximately EXP knee X which is the basic result of large deviations theory if we know the probability distribution of X display style X an explicit expression for the rate function can be obtained this is given by a legendre Fenkel transformation I X equals sup theta greater than zero theta x minus lambda theta display style i x equals sup underscore theta greater than zero theta x lambda theta where lambda theta equals lane e exp theta x display style lambda theta equals lane operator name e exp theta x is called the cumulant generating function cgf and e display style operator name e denotes the mathematical expectation if x display style x follows a normal distribution the rate function becomes a parabola with its apex at the mean of the normal distribution if x i display style x underscore i is a Markov chain, the variant of the basic large deviations result stated above may hold. <laughs> Formal definition Given a Polish space x x let p n Display style math b p underscore n be a sequence of Borel probability measures on x display style math cal x let a n display style or underscore n be a sequence of positive real numbers such that lim n a n equals plus infinity display style lim underscore n a underscore n equals plus inf t and finally let i x 0 plus infinity display style i math cal x to 0 plus inf t be a lower semi-continuous functional on x. Display style mathcal x. The sequence p n. Display style math b p underscore n is said to satisfy a large deviation principle with speed a n. Display style or underscore n and rate i display style i if and only if for each borel measurable set e x display style e subset mathcal x minus inf x element of e i x lim underscore n a n minus 1 log p n e lim n a n minus 1 log p n e 
minus inf x element of e i x display style inf underscore x in e caret circ i x leq valiminf underscore n a underscore n caret minus one log big math b p underscore n e big leq volumes up underscore n a underscore n caret minus one log big math b p underscore n e big leq inf underscore x in bar e i x where e display style bar e and e display style e caret circ denote respectively the closure and interior of e display style e topic brief history The first rigorous results concerning large deviations are due to the Swedish mathematician Harald Kramer, who applied them to model the insurance business. From the point of view of an insurance company, the earning is at a constant rate per month the monthly premium but the claims come randomly. For the company to be successful, over a certain period of time, preferably many months, the total earning should exceed the total claim. Thus to estimate the premium you have to ask the following question, what should we choose as the premium? Q display style Q such that over n display style n months the total claim C equals sigma x i display style C equals sigma x underscore i should be less than n q display style n q. This is clearly the same question asked by the large deviations theory. Cramer gave a solution to this question for i, i, d, random variables, where the rate function is expressed as a power series. A very incomplete list of mathematicians who have made important advances would include Petrov, Sanoff, Srs. Varadhan, who has won the Abel Prize for his contribution to the theory, D. Ruel, O. E. Lanford, Amir Dembo, and Ofa Zaytuni. Applications Principles of large deviations may be effectively applied to gather information out of a probabilistic model. Thus, theory of large deviations finds its applications in information theory and risk management. In physics, the best known application of large deviations theory arise in thermodynamics and statistical mechanics in connection with relating entropy with rate function. <laughs> <laughs> large deviations and entropy The rate function is related to the entropy in statistical mechanics. This can be heuristically seen in the following way. In statistical mechanics the entropy of a particular macro state is related to the number of micro states which corresponds to this macro state. In our coin tossing example the mean value m n could designate a particular macro state and the particular sequence of heads and tails which gives rise to a particular value of m n display style m underscore n constitutes a particular micro state loosely speaking a macro state having a higher number of micro states giving rise to it has higher entropy and a state with higher entropy has a higher chance of being realized in actual experiments 
The macro state with mean value of one half, as many heads as tails, has the highest number of micro states giving rise to it, and it is indeed the state with the highest entropy. And in most practical situations, we shall indeed obtain this macro state for large numbers of trials. The rate function. On the other hand measures the probability of appearance of a particular macro state. The smaller the rate function the higher is the chance of a macro state appearing. In our coin tossing the value of the rate function for mean value equal to one half is zero. In this way one can see the rate function as the negative of the entropy. There is a relation between the rate function in large deviations theory and the callback liebler divergence see sanoff and novak ch 14.5 in a special case large deviations are closely related to the concept of gromov hausdorff limits topic see also Large deviation principle Cramer's large deviation theorem Chernoff's inequality Sanov's theorem Contraction principle large deviations theory, a result on how large deviations principles push forward Friedland-Wenzel theorem, a large deviations principle for Ito diffusions Laplace principle, a large deviations principle in road Laplace's method Schilder's theorem, a large deviations principle for Brownian motion Viradan's lemma Extreme value theory Large deviations of Gaussian random functions <laughs>